Hey team, this is McGuire Review, and we are going to be, if I can get in the seat, join the team. Hey team, let's get this out of the way. Okay, so this is an intro video that I'm going to use for quite a few of the next few videos that we do. As you can see here, we have got a ton of stuff to go through from WizKids, lots of different products, and lots of different types of things that they make some of which are pretty new and a couple I think are not necessarily released yet. So this is gonna be a fun series that we're gonna do. So you're gonna to want to hit that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter so you can see all of these. And again, I'll use the same sort of intro to every one of these videos. That way it doesn't really matter where you come into the series and what you're watching. You'll be able to see there's lots of other stuff that's gonna be in this series that you might want to check out. Whether it's Pathfinder or D&D, &D, we do have the brand new Transformers as well as the brand new My Little Pony figures, which are pretty cool as well. So we're going to be going through all of this. With that, on with the reviews! Hey team, this is McGuire Review, and we're going to be taking a look at some newer sets. Some of these have been out for a little bit. Some of these are, have recently released, and I got something here that's actually sort of uh, combined that they have already started to release as one pack. I just thought it was the best way to kind of take a look at these different sets just by having one video where we can just look at all of them and see some of the stuff they have to offer because it really is kind of all over the place. They have some things that are more medieval kind of fantasy. They have other things that are jungle based. They have things that are more realistic like the gas station, which was definitely not something that appealed to me initially until I did, uh, and I have put these things back in the package to show them, until I got them out of the pack and really looked them over. This gas station is actually a really cool one. We'll talk about the functionality and how you can sort of thematically use this set once we get it out of the package, but I actually really like this one now. So what we have is we've got the gas station. We have got the castle barracks. This is a really cool set. We have the Homestead and the Medieval Farmer, and these are the two that now they actually sell as a single pack if you want to get it. I think what happened is just a lot of people that bought one probably bought the other one. They are very similar in nature, although there are some differences between these two sets definitely. But you can get these two sets kind of in one package now that they offer and then the Jungle Shrine. Just definitely the biggest set here out of the 4D settings that, that we're looking at today. And this one actually has real light up functionality, which is pretty cool. The fire, that does have a light built in. So there are lights that are built into this one, which is really cool. So what we're gonna do is uh, Bear is gonna get these out of the box and set them up. And then we're gonna come back and take a look at each one of these sets out of the box versus going through a whole unboxing on each one of them to save some time. We'll talk about each one of the sets. So I'm gonna go get some coffee. You unbox them and uh, we'll be back. All right, looks like we've got it all set up. Nice work, Bear. Always a job well done. Okay, let's see what we got here. So here's all of the sets, um, totally out of the pack. Now, one thing that I will mention before I uh, start, and it's off to the side here, but one thing I will mention before I start going through everything, just from a review perspective, would be the packaging. I did notice that the packaging on each one of these sets, and I, and I realize from a manufacturing perspective, there's a balance of how tight do you design the packaging, the, the plastic pieces that everything fits down into and kind of how it snaps up around everything. You don't want things to be jumbling around the package. It gets broke that way. You don't want things to look like that when you when you go to the store and you pick up the package. You want everything to be nice and tight in there, not like, oh, there's a piece jiggling around somewhere. It just comes off as cheap and not well done packaging. So they didn't have any of that problem across this set at all. Now, the other side of that pendulum is when you get that packaging so deep and so tight, you end up breaking pieces just trying to get it out of the package. And that happened to me, definitely. And sometimes it, something just gets snapped because these are all very, you know, um, small, you know, intricate little pieces. And you put too much force, you end up snapping it. Here's an example here, pulling this piece out. I snapped it right off at the base. Not that big of a deal because it is designed to be glued together that way, so it didn't actually break the plastic. 
uh, and that's why I was able to just stick it right down into there. Pop a little super glue on, there's no problem at all. But I will mention that from a review perspective, just opening it and getting it out of the package, what I would prefer to see, and I think would work better, is just a tray that is designed to hold each one of the items uh, the best that it can without all this locking around it, and then another plastic tray that sits on the top that locks down into it that's taped. That way, you know, you might have a little bit of jiggle, but nothing is going to be popping out and moving around it's way easier to unbox. You just hit the tape, you pull the top off, and then you have all of it. You can just you can just dump your tray out or however you want. It just keeps people from breaking stuff coming right out of the package. Nothing like getting a brand new set and then you've got something broke just trying to muscle it out of the package or you cut yourself. Okay, so let's get into the actual sets that we have here because the sets themselves are phenomenal. And you can see as they're out of the pack... They get it even better, and I think once you get the set out of the pack, you really realize and see just how much you're getting with that set. It seems it seems to be a bigger set when I got it out of the package. Look at all of this. So, we'll start here with the jungle set. I'm going to go through each set quickly. You know, there's different things. It's all themed around the jungle. We've got a little mushroom circle patch here. You've got a hut. Everything is designed to be used with your RPG and your tabletop gaming so the roofs come off of all of the homes and the houses. You can see right down into there. If you've got something in there, you need to go in there, whatever. The house, you know, the roof comes off. We then have the little rune sort of portal. Um, I don't know what it is. It reminds me of like a, like a Stargate type looking thing that we have here, which is pretty cool. We've got different um, runes here, one of them having just a, a solid hole through it and this does not have any light up function the other two do have light up functions and they each have a different well no they don't they they each have the same rune in them uh, this one's actually on so i'll click that it's probably going to be hard to be able to see here on camera we will do some close-ups i'll try to zoom in here um, but i'll turn both of them on uh, it is off now and then there we go it turned on so you can see there's just a little bit of light that comes from that rune and lights that rune up um, and it's, you know, it, it's pretty cool the way that, it, uh, the way that it works. This one here looks like, you know, it kind of changes as you sort of move this around. These are very, very cool. I love the light up features in these. And at the bottom there, you can see you can take off a couple screws if that battery goes out. And it's more than likely, I didn't check the battery type exactly, but it's, it's more than likely just like one of those watch type batteries that's right there in the bottom. And you'll just pop a new one in and be up and operational again. There's two of the little, um crypt type uh, ca caskets that they have here included the tops do come off which is nice everything uh, both of those do there is a statue here we've got stone statue and then there's one that is a, a broke one this is broke on purpose it didn't this is not uh, something i broke getting out of the package it is broke on purpose and more than likely to just be used as, oh, I found this piece, then you put this piece here, and then something happens, maybe the runes light up. It's all the story that you want to tell as you're playing you know, your tabletop RPG. And then you have your fire. These are two different pieces. If you wanted to use them as two different pieces, you could. You know, you could do something like that if you, if you wanted to, but, but this... The, you know, it's designed to be like this, where the stones will be around the fire, but you can take it apart if you want. And the fire is the same way, where you can turn that light on, and you now have a lit uh, fire. So that's pretty cool. I'll leave that one on so you can see the light there. That's pretty neat. And that one is actually really bright. It's got a really bright look on it. I'm sure that would shine quite a bit if the lights were off. Okay, so that is the jungle one. Here is the barracks, which I really like the barracks because it comes with these beds which are pretty cool bunk kind of the classic barrack bunk beds with the chests so you can kind of put a chest there is um uh, six chests so you could put one on either end of each of the bunk beds the chests are really cool each of them do open up so the little lid comes off you could put something in there very small um, if you were something you needed to search for you could have all these chests and you know, make players go through and which one do you want to open and maybe some of them are trapped and some of them have exactly what you're looking for. So that's kind of a cool uh, way that you can use this set. And then there's a couple little end table type things. There's a weapons rack. There is, this was one of the things I, I ended up I ended up breaking, but again, 
uh, after getting it out. But again, after I broke it, I actually um, prefer it to be separated because now I can have the stand, I can put the target um, up against it somewhere else, or I can put the target right up on the stand like that and have it have it attached. So I don't mind that I actually broke that getting it out of the pack. Um, that's more usable for me, to tell you the truth. Now we have the little dummies, it's the little practice dummies. You get four of those, three of which that follow the same sculpt. Let's make sure. Yes, three of which that follow the exact same sculpt. And then you've got one of the um, uh, more sword practice dummies that you'd just be whacking on. Right, so that's pretty cool. There are two tiny, tiny little um, cups that are included in the set, as well as some little tiny shields. Those are things you'd probably just be having laying out. And then there are a number of these uh, weapons. And they are all individual little weapons. You got halbergs, you got uh, a bow, you've got a pike, kind of a spear. Um, let's see. So those, And then you've got some swords, like your standard uh, just looking knight kind of sword. I believe those are the, the different weapons that are included. Yes, that's all of them. That you would have but it's cool because they're all kind of separate like that and you can use those for lots of different things you know um you you could put a pile of them somewhere and just have players like ah there's a pile of old weapons do you want to search through those weapons maybe you find something better who knows uh based on a die roll there's lots of different ways that you can use that stuff and then one of the coolest pieces that is in here um it's kind of the, a, a basic piece but i really like it is this wooden uh, old tavern wooden table here that is a great piece that can be used in lots of different scenarios and settings um, outdoors indoors but that's included in the barracks set as well everything that you're going to find here was the medieval farmer and homestead set uh, lots of things you got your hay barrels those are just big solid pieces of of, uh, of plastic the hay barrels they are they do feel like they're hollow we have those you got a couple pins that you get these little pieces here do slide out, so you can kind of have an op open and close area. We've got a number of different animals. You got some bulls over here. Um, you do have the farmer. He did come with a little base, which I've not glued him on yet. You've got a couple cows, and they do have a different coloring. The print is the same, the sculpt is the same, but the coloring is different, which is nice. I'm glad they did that and didn't just make them uh, both brown or both uh, the black and white. I think it's nice that one's brown and one's black. That's pretty cool. And then you've got the old-time kind of plow that you can set over over them there if you want to do that. You've got a wagon, which I love this wagon piece. This is actually really cool, and uh, this is really highly functional for a lot of different things. We've got a hay. Um, I'm not sure exactly the technical term here, but it's a, a hay holder. So animals can come up and eat hay out of this little area, and the hay is sort of protected from the weather for the most part. It is a loose piece that's in there, but this top does not come off. It is all glued. I think it's just in there that way. It's just the way it's made. It's actually two different pieces. And then we've got the um, a little sort of stable or barn for the animals. The roof on this one does not come off because it's completely open. Get your little pole there. So that's just a nice little stable for the animals. And then on this set here came with some really cool things. You got a horse. Didn't get as many animals, but you did get a horse and you got a pig, which I put in the little uh, area. I put the horse and the pig in there together. There we go. They can be friends. In the little pin that came with that. Same thing. It's got that little front door, and I'll show you. That just slides right out of there. And now you've got an opening, and you can just slide that right back in. Uh, or you can slide it to the side, how you know, however you want to do that. So that's how that works. There is a log cabin for this one, which I thought was pretty cool. Again, the roof is removable, and I did not take the piece of tape off. There's a piece of tape that's right holding this door, but this front door is completely operational, and it will open and close. And I'll show you that here in just a second with one of the, which I believe is kind of like a little chicken coop. This one, uh, you know, I'd be careful with because this hay roof does come off and it's remove removable uh but you know this is you know this is a a fairly flimsy piece um it is well made it's well painted and sculpted it looks really good but it but it doesn't have a lot i mean if you if you gave it just a little bit you, you probably could crack it and would have to re-glue it um so it is a it is a fairly delicate little piece here 
and it does have the front door that's operational just like we have on the cabin so that's how that would work that would open it does open all the way up so this is kind of our little our little hay hut or little chicken coop and then it did come with these four tiny little chickens which i thought are cool and they do follow uh some different sculpts which i thought was uh nice they just didn't, didn't just do four of the same sculpt so they do look a little bit different you can have them roaming around or you can have them there in your little coop okay and then we've got some wood so for the long winter months it's a nice big stack of cut wood you can put that right along your uh your log cabin there we've got a little area for to tie the horse okay and then there's a couple little feeders i've got one feeder here one very small little uh, wagon which is another really cool piece and there are a couple little wheat bags one of them that is tied and closed and one of them is kind of open and kind of spilt open uh, so i put that one there in the little feeder which put by the horse and then another just bag of wheat you can set that wherever you want really um, and then you got your your barrel this is another really cool piece i thought which was the well and it does have some uh, translucent plastic that's there in the bottom just to give it a little bit more of that, uh, you know, water sort of well feeling. It's not operational in, in any way. It is one solid state piece. But I really like the look of this well. Uh, and that's that can be used in a, in a lot of different scenarios. Uh, and it's a great piece. It's well sculpted and well painted. Okay, so that's everything with the medieval farmer and the homestead, everything here. And then we bring ourselves to the final set, which is the gas station, the newer gas station, a newer, more modern set. You'll see this is very different than anything that we have up here. These all follow a very um, fantasy adventure theme kind of take. This is more realistic and modern. And when I first saw it, I thought, you know what, this is probably not going to be one that's really going to interest me. I really align more with these fantasy adventure themed kind of sets that would be more of my type of setting but then i thought what you could really do with this i mean it's not just for tabletop rpg play you could use this for uh tabletop miniature war gaming uh, anything like that as well and i have a game that i play that i've always really enjoyed i don't play that much anymore but it was definitely one of my favorite tabletop combat squad based combat games at the time and that game is called mercs I don't know why I always loved Mercs. I just thought the way it was designed, the rule set, it was just a lot of fun. And it does follow more of a realistic setting. So this is something that I think I'm going to get Mercs out of the pack again and use for that gameplay in more of a realistic setting. And what I love about this set is it really, you can do a lot thematically and you can do a lot functionally with this. So it's, you know, it's a gas station. So if you are fighting near a gas station, uh, you could always do something where it's like depending on how far you are from propane tanks or gas tanks you could during combat you could roll a die and you know maybe if you got a certain number on a d20 you end up hitting a gas line or a propane tank and that tank explodes and maybe there's splash damage that people take maybe there's not depending on how big the radius is you want the explosion to be so there's just there's lots of things I think thematically and functionally you can do with this set and it works with any modern setting. If you wanted to use it with uh, Fallout Wastelands, if you wanted to use it with Mercs, if you wanted to use it with any of your modern day tabletop uh, combat systems, I think this would be a great set for that. And if you wanted to customize it, this does follow a little bit of a you know a newer. I would say this this has a it's kind of an early 90s maybe 80s feel to to some of the stuff that's here uh, with these pieces but you could always go back and do some dry brushing and kind of grime this up because it th this set is painted and designed to be as if it was in nice new prestige sort of uh, condition but if you wanted to use it with something that was post-apocalyptic or or whatever you could go back and dry brush this up or mud it or something like you know one of those techniques to really add sort of an, an older look and feel to this set if you wanted to do that and it would be very easy to do so okay so that is all the sets that we have from the whiz kids 4d terrain sets team these are great i can't recommend them enough we've done quite a few unboxings 
um, over the over the years that are with these terrain sets uh, with their miniatures i really think they do a great job with them they come at a very very fair price point for the quality that you're getting the sculpts are great the paint on these particular sets are really good and they're getting better and better every new set they release i'm more impressed with just the sculpting and the painting and the level of detail and now that they're adding in sort of the electronics to these sets i really want to see more than that i would love to see these sets as they go on uh, through time become more and more integrated with these little lights and these electronics i know that you got the batteries to replace but these are these are little leds and they will last for a good amount of time as long as you just don't forget and uh, put them up on your shelf and they're just running forever. This has actually got a couple different settings. I, I pushed that and it kind of went a little dimmer. Uh, and then I'll push it at light and then I'll push it and now it's completely off. So this looked to have actually two or maybe even three settings of brightness on that fire. It's just, that's really cool, you know. I, uh, I really like that. I mean, how cool would it be in time if like the little cabins had windows with little lights in them and... You know, I mean, whatever would make sense to put a light on, you could put a light on. Or maybe, you know, these, like, you opened it up and a light would turn on when the casket lid was was lifted. I mean, there's just all kinds of creative things I think they can do into the future with these pieces to start to integrate that lighting. And I know they're starting to kind of test and try that. And I think it's I think it's awesome. All right, team. WizKids, 40 sets. Check them out. Hit that like. Hit the subscribe below to join the team. Keep rolling them, crits. This has been the McGuire Review. And we'll see you next time, man. Let's roll.